Hello, good evening. Good evening, mister. Hello, how are you? Hello, me escucha? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm fine. Okay, I'm nice fine. To I do. <laughs> fine, thank you for asking. I'm nice to meet you. You're Tanya Pamela, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, is this the first time you take these classes? Uh, see, si, yes, and first the time. Model. Um, <risa> ¿Es la primera vez que toma estas clases? Ah, del turno de las nueve, sí. Estaba ah. anterior en el turno de las ocho. Ah, ok. Ok, very good. Nice to meet you. Uh, we're about to start right now. Creo que ya todos se están uniendo para poder comenzar la clase. Solo voy a asegurarme que este sea el curso correcto. Let me see here. Están en módulo 2, inglés intermedio, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Ok, so this is the correct module. Entonces solo vamos a ver unas cosas aquí. And we are going to start. Ok, nice to meet you all. We are about to start right now. Um, first of all, the introduction. Esta la primera mitad de la clase va a ser en español para eh, nada más siempre eh, recordarles y eh, si es la primera vez decirles acerca de cómo se vamos a trabajar de ahora en adelante este para el módulo 2, ¿verdad? El inglés intermedio, módulo 2. Entonces, primeramente, eh, mi nombre es Jorge Asensio. Me pueden decir teacher, me pueden decir Jorge, me pueden decir Mr. Asensio, as you wish, right? Eh, y yo les voy a estar acompañando como un, pues, una ayuda, ¿verdad? Para desarrollar los ejercicios de la plataforma. No sé si ya empezaron a trabajar en la plataforma. ¿Ya tienen acceso a ella? Yes or no? ¿Ya empezaron a usar la plataforma ustedes o no? No realmente todavía, no. No, no incorporado en la plataforma. Ok. Bueno, entonces esta es la plataforma. Aquí van a ver unos objetivos. La plataforma también tiene videos en la cual pues ustedes van a, van a ver... Eh, pues reglas de gramática, vocabulario, etcétera. Y luego lo que ustedes tienen que hacer es esto, ¿verdad? Los, las tareas. Estas son como tareas de la plataforma y ustedes pueden ir accesando la plataforma como ustedes quieran, vayan avanzando. Si, por ejemplo, yo termino la sección, la sección 1 o la sección 2, ¿verdad? Este, hoy, esta semana, y quiero empezar con la sección 3, ya el jueves o el viernes, pueden hacerlo sin ningún problema, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, aquí van a ir trabajando ustedes y estos mismos temas son los que vamos a ir desarrollando en la clase. Entonces, esto es lo que van a utilizar ustedes en su tiempo libre, lo pueden hacer. Y nosotros aquí en clase solo vamos a, a pues resolver dudas, practicar el inglés, etcétera. So, nice to meet you. Como les decía, los que van a ingresando, mi nombre es Jorge Asensio. Me pueden decir teacher, me pueden decir uh, Jorge, Asensio, Mr. Asensio, Mr. George, as you wish, ¿ok? En esta clase primero lo vamos a empezar en español para que ustedes puedan ver cuáles son las, las uh, indicaciones, ¿verdad? Que vamos a seguir. Están en el módulo 2. Va a durar del 6 de febrero al 28 de febrero. Entonces vamos a utilizar 16 horas de 9 a 10. Ese es mi nombre. Y ustedes también pueden hacer preguntas a través de la plataforma o a través de, perdón, el WhatsApp, el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Entonces ahora nos vamos a presentar. Antes de presentarnos, nada más le voy a dar las indicaciones aquí. 
eh, nada más para que no tenga ningún problema con su diploma, porque al final del módulo le van a dar un diploma. Entonces, eh, dice, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, que son las que yo les acabo de enseñar. Se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Eh, también todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. El material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. El, el material que vamos a ver aquí va a ser las presentaciones y si ustedes quieren, pues se las puedo compartir también, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes las tengan. Así vamos a trabajar. En este caso, vamos a ver la semana 1, sección 1 y sección 2 de la plataforma. La semana 2, sección 3 y midterm. La semana 3, sección 4. Y la semana 4, sección 5 y final exam. Que el final exam ya lo tienen en la plataforma. Ustedes lo pueden hacer. No vamos a tener un examen final en sí, pero sí van a hablar, vamos a hablar, vamos a practicar el inglés. Eh, como tienen entendido, el, las clases son de lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Pero eh, en este caso sí la vamos a tener esta semana, sí vamos a tener clases el viernes 10 y la otra semana, el viernes 17, sí va a haber clases, porque terminaríamos justo el 28 de febrero, que es martes. Entonces ya de ahí ya no tendríamos clases de este módulo. Por esa razón es que vamos a tener solo estas dos semanas clase los viernes. Normalmente no es así. Luego de esto, de desarrollar eh, los temas, pues estas son las normas de convivencia. Botón silencio. Si ustedes tienen ruido a su alrededor o está muy fuerte la televisión o donde ustedes están, pues usen el botón silencio. Y este vamos a a, a levantar la mano si ustedes quieren participar o también pueden eh, abrir el micrófono, ¿verdad? Lista de asistencia, bueno, aquí la, en, el, en, en, el, en el video va a quedar grabado, ¿verdad? Que ustedes ya ahí tienen su nombre y ahí va a aparecer su lista de asistencia. Por eso es que su nombre completo debe de estar ahí. Cámara encendida, si es posible, para... Es mejor, pues, para ver si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta, si ustedes tienen alguna duda. Eh, si la tienen apagada, digamos que si están, no están en su casa o están enfermos, me dicen, yo estoy enfermo, profesor, solo lo voy a estar escuchando porque no puedo hablar, está bien, solo me tienen que avisar antes para ver las actividades que vamos a hacer y no estarle preguntando, ¿verdad? Tania, Tania está ahí, está ahí y usted tal vez está en cama o solo está escuchando porque le duele la garganta, etcétera. Entonces, la participación activa, siempre traten de participar en todas las actividades, en las tareas que dejamos, para que ustedes así aprendan, aunque sea un poco, de lo que vamos a eh, estar desarrollando. El uso de chats, pueden usar el chat aquí o también en WhatsApp, levantar la mano eh, para participar y siempre mantener respeto, ¿verdad? Siempre ser respetuosos con los compañeros y con los profesores. Así que al final de esto, la asistencia del 80% del desarrollo de la plataforma, ustedes van a tener su diploma este, después de la plataforma de, de hacer la plataforma de aprendizaje. ¿verdad? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta este momento? ¿Duda? ¿Comentario? ¿Sugerencia? ¿Preguntas? ¿Es primera vez que están en esta, este tipo de clases o ya han sido parte de módulos anteriores. En mi caso sí, teacher. ¿Ya ha sido um, parte de clases anteriores? Yes. En el mío también, teacher, estuve para el módulo pasado, intermedio uno también. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué les gustaría a ustedes ver en esta clase, digamos, practicar más? ¿O qué actividades les gustaría que se hicieran más en estas clases? Eh, quizás enfocarse bastante en la pronunciación y lectura. A ver. Pronunciación y lectura. Muy bien. ¿Qué más? Algo que no hayan hecho en otras clases que dijeran, ay, yo hubiera gustado que no se me dieran, uh, me mostraran más este videos, por ejemplo, en inglés o, o listening. Que, no, que nos dieran tan menos teoría tal vez y más práctica lo digo porque algunas veces 
el tiempo que dejaba el otro, porque yo estuve en otro horario, uh -huh. era un poquito más reducido para que practicáramos con mis compañeros y la mayoría, pues sí estaban bien con el reading o algo, pero había que practicar pronunciación y otro tipo de cosas que solo se hacen pues con diálogos, ¿no? Uh -huh. La mayoría del tiempo. Exacto, con diálogos, con presentaciones, con role plays. Y ustedes ya están en un módulo 2, más o menos es como intermedio, ¿verdad? Su inglés es como intermedio. Ok, muy bien. Entonces vamos a tratar de hacer eso, de hacer los ejercicios para que ustedes puedan pues practicar. Y si ustedes no entienden, párenme, ¿verdad? Porque a veces yo solo voy pasando las diapositivas y esto y esto y lo otro. Pero si ustedes no entienden algo, o, o por favor repita, teacher, o no lo entendí, o por favor explíquelo en inglés, porque en, es, eh, en español, porque en inglés no lo entiendo, háganlo, ¿ok? No hay problema. Ahorita vamos a ver cómo vamos a, cómo estamos con el inglés, por eso vamos a hacer una introduction. Uh, so, um, tell me your name, first of all, like I did, my name is Jorge Asensio. Tell me what do you what do you do in your free time? For example, I don't have a lot of free time right now, but I like to read, I like to watch movies, I like to go to the movie theater, and I like to visit places here in El Salvador, right? And what are your expectations about this class? For example, I want to speak more English, I want to listen or I want to learn more vocabulary, right? Tell me about that. Um, I want one volunteer, un voluntario, for the introduction. One volunteer, please. Only one. Um, I'm volunteer teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Maricela Barahona, mm -hmm. but I like call as Marcela, no more. Mm -hmm. It is because I consider that my my name is not correct for me, but I don't know why. It, ah. it is like a madness no more. Uh, what I usually do in my free time, I used to read the books during all that time. It's the only time that I spend in this moment. I am reading a book from John Paul. Mm -hmm. It is La Cabaña in Spanish, and mm -hmm. it is a good book, really. And what are your expectations about this class? Well, I want to improve my fluency, my pronunciation, my communication skill, because in my job, I really need it. And for that reason, I am here. And it's because it's the opportunity that I have to meet new people. Um, and I don't know, make uh, friends and have good experiences at the same time for that reason, just like that. Okay, very good. And what do you do for a job? Um, for, for my job, uh, I work in a call center right now. I am in training in this moment. Okay, have you worked in call centers before? No, this is my first job experience in a call center. And I am so nervous because I am in training in this moment. And for that reason, I am here trying to practice and improve myself. Okay, very interesting. Very good. Yes, because you speak very well. You speak oh, very thank well. Thank you. Yes, very <laughs> I really good. appreciate it. Thank you. Very good. Perfect. Let's see. Somebody else, please. Alguien más. Somebody else. Alguien más que quiere decirme su nombre, que hace en el tiempo libre y cuáles son sus expectativas de clase, de esta clase. Hi. Okay, go ahead. Hi, my name is Kimberly Lopez. I'm 24 years old, and what I do in my free time, well, I don't have a lot of free time right now because mm -hmm. I'm working, and uh, in English. Sorry? Droguería. How do you say in English? Droguería? Yes. Drugstore. Uh-huh. Pharmacy, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm working in a drugstore. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the marketing coordinator. Mm -hmm. And in my free time, I like to I like to spend time with my family. And my expectation for this class, uh, I improve my pronunciation, my fluency, and maybe learn 
uh, more than this language. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Kimberly. Let's see somebody else. Somebody else, please. Alguien más? Nobody else. <laughs> okay, let's choose. Tania, go ahead. Uh, hello, um, my name is Tania Montoya. Uh -huh. I am 32. Mm -hmm. And I have the children and mm -hmm. I do working in bakery and the making cake. Mm -hmm. And in the free time, the listen to music and the 80 and 90. Mm -hmm. And I do watching, I do watching anime. Mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, are, what are your expectations about this class? Um, the fluency pronunciation. <laughs> fluency and pronunciation. Very good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's see someone else. Jocelyn, go ahead. Hi, everyone. I am Jocelyn Escobar. I am 23 years old. Um, I live in Santa Ana. I am a QA analyst in, at Brand at Banco Agricola. Mm -hmm. And what do I do in my free time is, um, I really like um, learning new things. So I love read. I, I like to watch some movies or series. And my expectations about this class is improve my fluency and learn more vocabulary. Just that. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Jocelyn. Let's see. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, let's see, Christian. Hello, teacher. Uh, my name is Christian Avalos. Uh, I twenty five years old, and I work as a programmer. I like play video games. And I want to improve my vocabulary and I love watching Netflix. Okay, what are your expectations about this class? Um, I want to improve my vocabulary. Okay, you want to get more vocabulary, improve your vocabulary. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Nice to meet you, Christian. Let's see what else. Irma. Are you there, Irma? Yes. My name is Irma Raquel Garcia. Mm -hmm. uh, I have 32 years old. Uh, I have two daughters. Mm -hmm. In my free time, I like I like watch TV. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and what are your expectations about this class? Like, what do you want to learn from this class or practice? In my, my expectation is learn more the language. Learn more, ling uh, learn more about language. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Perfect. So I guess that everybody has participated, right? Todos participaron ya? Everybody did, right? Okay. Perfect. So we are going to begin right now with the class. As you already know, uh, we are going to begin with um, this platform, okay? We're going to use the platform, but we are not going to use it that much. If you have any question about this platform or any exercise or uh, probably you have any problem uh, solving a... Uh, any of these exercises, just let me know during the class or in the WhatsApp group, right? You will see here different uh, objectives. Also, uh, you will see here conversations, videos about grammar rules, etc. So if you have an access to the platform, you can begin tomorrow or today. This will be the first objective in this class. You will develop skills in guessing meaning from context and reading for specific information. 
So uh, we are going to begin right now. I guess that this conversation, we'd have it in the video. So probably we will be able to see it there. I guess it's clearer there. So let's watch the video first and then we are going to practice the conversation, okay? Or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay, perfect. Do you have any question about this um, conversation? Preguntas acerca de la conversación? But it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. What I'm on the phone. Oh. So I'm not sure, but it's like a, an issue with the with the okay. share screen. Yes, yeah, sorry. I didn't know what happened, but my computer just shut down, shut down everything. Okay. <laughs> Let me open it again. I'm sorry. It seems Don't that... worry, teacher. It's everything okay. We can wait. <laughs> yeah, technology is uh, teacher's enemies. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I can restore everything. Okay, teacher. No, no problem. Okay, uh, at least I didn't have anything. Just let me one moment, please. But did you have any any question about the conversation? No, just only can you repeat it again? It is because uh, of the of the in the first part of the conversation is like a no sounds great at the start, and I don't know if you can play again yeah, the yes. conversation again. Okay, thank you. I will play it again. No problem. Just let me find right now because. Everything shut down, and I thought, what happened? And I need to find it again, but I will play it again. Let's see. Okay, thank you, teacher. This is the other class. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. Sure, sir, no problem. Okay, I think I have it here. Yes, this one is. Okay, I will share the screen again and we are going to practice with that with that conversation and then I will find the other presentation. But let me see if it if it if it loads because I didn't know why everything shut down. But did you have any question about that or do you remember what the conversation was about? What was the conversation about? It was a family, no? It was a family. It were parents and they were uh, like telling it, the children, right? So, yeah, they were talking about something, but I... <laughs> it's like a, um, they're telling... They were, they were told something um, for the children, but um, it's like a... I cannot understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> you for the to... sound. Yeah, for the sound. Okay, we are going to play it again. I think I have it now. Okay, yeah. thank you, teacher. You see here. Yes, it's here. Okay, I'll play it again and you will let me know if if you understand or if you don't understand the conversation. Let me see here. Hi, 
Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay, what was the conversation about? Um, about the uh, TV and about uh, things in the floor. Exactly. And, uh -huh. Yeah. And what else? Yeah, and and the father say that is the TV is loud, and in that loud. moment, yeah. Okay, exactly. So it was about parents like telling of the children, right? Do you have any question about this conversation? For example, any word that you don't understand? So it, they are trying to show showing us that the turn down uh, phrasal verb. Exactly. Turn down is a phrasal verb. So that's that's what we are going to study. We are going okay, to first, okay. um let me see if I can have the conversation here. So we are going to practice it, okay? Okay, I have it here. So we're going to practice the conversation. I need two volunteers right now, those voluntarios. Anyone, please. Those, go, those uh, voluntarios para participar, para practicar la conversación. Just two. This is the conversation, right? Okay, Irma. Who will help Irma? ¿Quién le va a ayudar a Irma? I teach. Okay, no. Christian. So, Christian, you will be the parents, right? Mr. Phil and Mrs. Phil. And Irma will be the children, Jason and Lisa. Okay, Christian, can, uh, begin, please. Okay. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very long. Okay, I turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, mom, in, I am on the phone. All right but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay, yeah. very good. <laughs> yeah, sorry, very good, very good pronunciation. So we're going to break it up and we're going to do it slowly, okay? The first one says, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Turn down oh, the TV. Yeah, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute. Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. What is the meaning of definitely? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa definitely? De? Definitivamente. Exactly. What is the meaning of Turn down. Apagar. Apagar. Is that correct? 
Bajar. Bajar el volumen, right? Turn down mm -hmm. the TV. Bajar el volumen. Turn down. Very good. Pick up. What is the meaning of pick up? Recoger. Recoger, Recoger right? Very good. Lisa, pick up. Please pick up your things there all over the floor. And we have hang up. What is the meaning of hang up? Colgar. Colgar, right? Hang up the phone, right? She said, I'm on the phone, right? All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Very good. Definitely is kind of uh, difficult to pronounce. Very good. Minute is another one, okay? But do you have any other word that is kind of difficult to, pron to pronounce? ¿Alguna palabra que sea difícil de pronunciar? No? Okay, Irma, choose two of your classmates to participate. Irma, escoja a dos de sus compañeros para participar, para practicar la conversación. Eh, yo escoja. Yes. Okay. Um, Kimberly. Kimberly, okay. And who else? And who else, Irma? Who else? Quien más además de Kimberly? Who else? Um, Irving. Irving. No. Okay, Irving, are you there? Yes. Okay. Okay, Kimberly, you will begin and then Irving will continue, okay? Yes. Uh, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but it is, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn, turn it down. That's fair. Lisa, Lisa, please. Sorry. No, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Lisa, please pick up your thing. They are on the floor. In the name of mom, I'm on the phone. All right. But well, there is some um, song as you have, have, hang up. Okay, no problem. We will like this when we will fix. Definitely. No se escucha. Sorry again. Sorry, I'm so sorry. So very good. Very good pronunciation. Um, now, intonation is really important, right? For questions, right? Where we like this when we were kids, like that is the intonation for questions, right? Where we like this when we were kids, it's okay if you speak slowly, right? But try to do it fluently. Traten de hacerlo fluidamente, aunque lo hagan despacio. But try to join all the words, right? Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please, right? But very good. Let's continue. Do you know what a phrasal verb is? What is a phrasal verb? Have you heard that word before? What is that? Who knows? I think it's the connection of two words. Very good. It's a formation of two words, right? Very good. Let's see here. Phrasal verbs are a group of words that combine a verb with an adverb or a preposition. Together, these words act as a single verb and take on a whole new meaning. That's, that's independent from the meanings of the individual words. Okay? So that's what we are going to study right now in these 30 minutes that we have left. So phrasal verbs are very common and you hear them in spoken English all the time. Some popular examples include get out, calm down, give away, put up with. There are four types of phrasal verbs divided into two pairs, transitive, intransitive, separable and inseparable. A phrasal verb can belong to only one of each pair, but keep in mind 
that all separable phrasal verbs are transitive. A transitive verb is a verb that requires an object to receive the, the, the action, right? So uh, I'm trying to do these concepts right now. Probably they don't make that much sense right now, but it's just for you to have them there and for you to understand the grammar, right? That we are going to study. So we have transitive verbs and intransitive verbs, right? Can you read, Jocelyn, can you read the transitive verbs, please? Yes. Transitive verbs need an object to complete their meaning. Mm -hmm. We like to match. No, sorry. We like the match. I closed the door. He cocked the ball. She visited my she visited me at school. Mm -hmm. I saw an endangered, endangered animal. Mm -hmm. She told me the way to get there. I like trees. Very good, perfect. Now let's see. Christian, can you read intransitive verbs, please? Okay, teacher. Intransitive verb cannot have a direct object after them. We arrive uh, even in the we arrive. Mm -hmm. arrive. Okay, we arrive in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. She can help. Stranger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Your dog. Your dog. Your dog barks a lot. Mm -hmm. His father arrived last night. Mm -hmm. The sun rose quickly. 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 I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. The game was not funny, and nobody laughed. Laughed. Very good. Cuando, when we see this um, termination of word cough, it's like F, right? F, C-O-U, and this G-H is pronounced like F, coughed, okay. laughed. Yes, coughed, laughed. Very good. Very good. So what does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir todo esto? What does it mean? What is a transitive verb and what is an intransitive verb? What, 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 are, what were you talking about when you were saying all of this? Because transitive verbs, they need an object. And in transitive verb, I uh, cannot have a direct object, right? What, what is the difference? The main difference that you see there? ¿Cuál es la diferencia que pueden ver? For example, it says, for example, the first one, we liked the match. Uh, question, what do we like? Or what do we like? What do we like? What is the answer for that question? ¿Qué nos gustó? The match. The match. Very good. I closed the door. What did I close? The door. The door. Very good. He caught the ball. What did he caught? Or what did he get? The ball, the ball right? He catch the ball. Or he caught the ball. She visited me at school. Where did she visit me? ¿A dónde me visitó? At school. Uh -huh. I saw an endangered animal. What did I see? An endangered animal. Exactly. She told me the way to get there. What did she tell me? the way to get there exactly i like trees what do i like que me gustan trees. trees trees exactly so that is the object right eso que nos responde esa pregunta that is the object the match the door the ball the school and danger animal you see all of these verbs are transitive and that's what it means and in transitive verbs we don't have an object. For example, we arrived in the afternoon. Why did we arrive? No, right. Why did we arrive? ¿Qué llegamos? ¿Cuándo llegamos? Sí, verdad, pero no hay un objeto. She coughed strangely. ¿Qué tosió? ¿Qué tosió ella? I don't know, right? 
I don't know. Something, right? But I don't know. It doesn't say. No dice. She coughed strangely. So, como tosió ella, pero no dice que tosió. Your dog barks a lot. Tu perro ladra mucho. Que ladra el perro? The sound, right? But it mentioned here. No, it's not mentioned here. So, you see, no object. In, in, in transitive verbs, we have objects. But in intransitive verbs, we don't have it. So we are not going to study this like what is intransitive, what is intransitive. This is just for you to understand phrasal verbs. So these are more examples, right? Uh, transitive, intransible. Sometimes phrasal verbs, we can separate them. And this is the rule, right? Uh, for example, a transitive verbs always include a direct object. We already know that, right? So example, we will get through this difficult time. We will get through this difficult time. This difficult time is the object, right? Intransitive, please step aside for, for the cyclist, right? It doesn't have an object. So uh, don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Don't let me down. What is let down? ¿Qué significa let down? ¿Qué significa ese phrasal verb? What is the meaning? Like the song, please don't let me down. Like in Spanish, no me dejes abajo, ¿verdad? No me dejes eh, así como, yeah, actually like that, abajo, no me dejes eh, decepcionado, right? Don't let me down. Don't let me down is separable because we can see here, let down between let and down is me, right? So it's separable because it's transitive. It's a transitive verb. It has an object. And inseparable, a phrasal verb that you should not split out. The orphan carried on with his life. Phrasal verb, carried on. El huérfano siguió con su vida. Entonces, no lo separamos aquí porque es intransitivo. That is the main reason why, right? We're not going to um, study a lot of this. No vamos a enfocarnos mucho en esto. Solo es para que ustedes sepan. Y si ustedes quieren regresar a esto, if you want to return to this, you are able to know why, right? Si alguien les pregunta, ¿y por qué este se separa? ¿Y por qué este no? A ver. Because it's transitive, transitive and intransitive, right? Transitive, they have objects. Intransitive, they don't have. That's the reason why, right? So, si alguien les pregunta, es por eso. Por eso unos se separan, por eso unos no se separan. Very good. So we have a lot of phrasal verbs, a lot of them. We are not going to start all of them, right? So, for example, with only with the word get, we can form all of these, only with get. Solo con get podemos, and there are more, right? There are more. For example, get around, get at, get about, get across, get after, get ahead, get along, get on, get it up, get in, get over, get away, get back, get behind, get down, and get in. All of them have different meanings. Todos tienen diferente significado. We have the meaning here, and we have here an example, right? So you can check it later, right? All of them have different, even though they all of them have get, all of them have different uh, meanings, okay? We have another example here. We have um, a conversation. We are going to listen to it again. It's very similar to the one that we studied before. So I'm going to play it, okay? No, no, here, I don't want it here. I want it like bigger. So we are going to read it, we are going to listen to it, and then we are going to practice, okay? Because you want to practice pronunciation, so we are going to do that. Unit 6. Sure, I'll do it. Are Page 36. Exercise 2. Are you able to listen to the, to the video? Yes? Yes. Okay. Conversation. I'll turn it off. Part A. Listen and practice. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. 
I'll turn it down. Listen and practice. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. It's still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I'll go watch the show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine. And these books are yours, actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy, too. Okay, very good. Do you want to listen to it again? Yes? Yes, please, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll listen to it again. And we are going to practice the conversation. But this time, I want you to imitate what you listen to, okay? Try to copy the sound, sure, the sir. intonation, everything, okay? Okay, let's see. Okay, sir. 36. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'll turn it off. Part A. Listen and practice. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. It's still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I'll go watch the show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine. And these books are yours, actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy, too. Okay, very good. Now I need two volunteers to practice this conversation, please. Volunteers? Volunteers, people who hasn't participated yet. Alguien que no haya participado. Me, teacher. Okay, Tania. And who will uh, help Tania? ¿Quién le va a ayudar a Tania? Jocelyn? <laughs> yes? Yes, okay. Okay, so you begin, Tanya, and then Jocelyn continues. Please, turn on TV. I have to study. I'm sorry, I'll turn it down. But is it too low? All right, I turn it off. I'll go watch this show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is so amazed, Rodrigo. Your clothes are the, uh, over the place. They're not mine. And these books are yours, actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I was. I'm the key on the nervous. I pulled my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy, too. Very good. Perfect. Clap for you. Okay, perfect. Do you have any question about the words in the conversation? Preguntas? Everything's okay? Okay, we are going to practice again uh, the conversation, but try to imitate what you hear, right? Please. Turn down the TV, I have to study, right? Try to imitate the feeling, also the intonation. I'm sorry, I'll turn it down. It's still too loud, right? Loud. All right, I'll turn it off. I'll go watch this show in my room. Thanks, no problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine, and these books are yours, actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry, I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. 
That's okay. I don't know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. Okay, so uh, let's see, Tanya, choose two of your classmates. Tanya, are you there? Uh, yes. Okay, choose two classmates. Dos compañeros más, por favor, para que practiquen. Elida, um, Elida Barahona and Kimberly. Okay, Kimberly and Elida. Elida, you begin, and then Kimberly follows you. Okay, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Please turn down the TV. I had to study. I'm sorry. I'm turning down. It's still too loud. in my room. Thanks. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine. And these clothes are yours, actually. Why don't you, why don't you put them away? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I guess I come up nervous about my exam tomorrow. It's okay. I know how you feel. This is some driving crazy, too. Very good, perfect. Okay, pronunciation. Please down. Uh, please turn down the TV. I have to study, right? Study. We don't okay. put an an e. There is no e um before that, so it's study. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. Uh, it's still right. It's still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I'll go watch this show in my room. Thanks. No problem. Right. This place such a mess. Rodrigo, you're close. Pronunciation of close, right? Close is, even though if it is a TH there, it's like an S, es como una S, right? Close, no, not clothes, but close, but very good. They're not mine and these books are yours. Actually, why don't you put them away? I'm sorry, I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam, right? Exam, exam, Spanish, exam, uh, English. That's okay, I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. So it's exam, exam, no exam. The last one, Kimberly, choose two of your classmates. Okay, um, Christian and Irving. Christian and Irving, very good. Christian, you begin and Irving will be Ken, right? Okay, teacher. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'll turn it down. It's still too loud. All right, I'll turn it off. You'll, you'll go watch the show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. There are no mine. And this book is yours, actually. Why don't you put it away? I'm sorry. I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exam drive me crazy too. Okay, very good. Perfect. I remember that is I'll, right? I'll go watch this show in my room. I'll go, right? An exam, right? It's like an E. It's como una E. Exam, exam. But very good, perfect. Now, do you see any phrasal verb there? Ven algún phrasal verb que conozcan ahí? Do you see any? What are the phrasal verbs in the conversation? Them. Uh huh. Which one? Put them away. Put them away. What is the phrasal verb in put them away? Mm. Era... And you put them. Put them. Put them is the verb. Put away. Put away. Put them. Them is uh, the pronoun, right? Ese es el pronombre. Por eso se separa. Porque es intransitive, right? We, we, sorry, it's transitive. We already know that. So put away. What is the meaning mm -hmm. of put away? 
What is put away? Put away your book. If I tell you, put away your book, Kimberly, what, what would you do? Eh, ponerlos en otro lugar. Ponerlo Guardarlo. lejos. Guardarlo, exactly. Guardarlo. Guardarlo. <laughs> you see, it sounds like put away, like como tirarlo, hacerlo por allá, ¿verdad? No, guardar. So put away is guardar. Very good. Another phrasal verb. Do you have another phrasal verbs here? Turn mm -hmm. off and turn, mm -hmm. turn, turn down. Exactly. Turn down and turn off. What is the meaning of turn down? What is the meaning? Turn down. What is the mm -hmm. meaning of it? Bajarle, right? For example, if I tell you, I hey, uh, turn down the radio, turn down the volume, right? Turn down the volume and turn off. What is the meaning of turn off? Apagar. Apagar. And what is the opposite of turn off? Turn, turn on. Turn, exactly. So turn off, apagar. Turn on and send there. Very good. Do you have any other here? Do we have any other? No, right? Just turn off, turn down and put away. Perfect. Let me see here. Yes. Very good. That's it. So tomorrow, I want you to write one sentence with these phrasal verbs. If you want to write, turn down, turn off, put away. Write one sentence with uh, each, each phrasal verb or only one, only one sentence, right? And if you know more phrasal verbs, Write it with another phrasal verb. Investigate one uh, phrasal verb and write one sentence if you want to, and we are going to share it. Tomorrow, we are going to review phrasal verbs, and let's see if there's something missing here. No, I think we covered all of it. So we are going to review tomorrow um, vocabulary also about... Um, like different uh, things about um, where these are like behaviors, right? So probably behaviors and phrasal verbs. And also this will be the, the, the how do you say? Uh, the homework, sorry. So investigate two new phrasal verbs and write a sentence with each of them. You can write it with the ones that you have here or you can investigate a new one, right? Example. Tell off. What is the meaning of tell off? Reprimand or scold someone. Es como regañar, ¿verdad? Sentence. My mom told me off because I didn't do the homework. Mi mamá me regañó porque no hizo la tarea, right? Told off. So now you already know what is the meaning of tell off, right? So try to investigate a new one if you want to, if you have time or try to use the ones that we uh, studied today. Do you have any question, any doubt, preguntas about phrasal verbs, about transitive or intransitive, about the conversation, preguntas? No, sir, it's everything clearly for me. Very good, yes, thank you, Elida, uh, for your participation. Very good, um, and any other person? Questions about the homework? No questions. <laughs> okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Okay, I know it's late. Uh, try to rest. Try to do the homework for tomorrow, and I will see you at nine o'clock. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Have a nice evening. Good night, Thank you, Good night Mister. Have a nice evening. Bye. Nice night. Mm -hmm.